Hello friends, today I am going to discuss the Galilean transformation equations for space and time. Uh, these transformation equations are necessary to understand the concept of relativity. So let us discuss them. Now let there are two inertial frames of references, frame S and frame S dash. S is the stationary frame of reference and S dash is the moving frame of reference. Now suppose that time t equals to t dash equals to 0, that is in the start, they are at the same position that is observers O and O dash coincides. Time t is equal to t dash equal to 0 means that these two frames, these two frames they may be anything, they may be two uh, cyclists, they may be two bikers, they may be uh, two persons having a car, so this is frame S and this is uh, frame S dash and these two frames initially they are at the same position after that S dash frame starts moving with a uniform velocity V along X axis here you can see that this frame starts moving with a uniform velocity V along X axis now let an event happen at position P in the frame S dash any event can happen in the frame S dash. For example, a biker has a gap and he has thrown the gap. The coordinate of the P will be X dash according to the observer O dash in frame S dash and it will be X. It will be X according to observer O in frame S. The frame S dash has moved a distance VT. VT? in time t now you can see the figure that this is the distance v t that is the distance between these two frames s and s dash at a particular time t because we know that distance equals to velocity into time distance equals to speed into time i repeat p is the position of the event occurs x dash is the coordinate of the event from frame s dash x is the coordinate from event from frame s and vt is the difference between the two frames that is s and s dash now what should be the relation between x and x dash as we can see from figure that x we can see from the figure that x equals to x dash plus vt x equals to x dash plus vt but here t is equal to t dash therefore we can write down that x equals to x dash plus vt now what is the meaning of t is equal to t dash because there are two frames for example again there are two bikers and if uh, both are wearing a, a watch and if suppose there is 11 am in the both are watches there are 11 am that that is the meaning of t is equal to t dash then x equals to x dash plus vt where t and t dash are the time measured from s and s dash frames respectively but what should be x dash yes you are right x dash equals to x minus vt it can be achieved by just exchanging the sides of the equation one but there is more to it it is just not by exchanging the sides we, it is it is perfectly right that that is x dash equals to x minus vt but this is not about exchanging the sides <coughs> If we see equation 1, we will find that it is the position measured by O when S dash is moving with positive velocity plus V velocity. But if the same thing is measured by O dash, same thing is measured by O dash, then velocity of S should be negative. For example, when we travel in a train, then according to the outside observers, we are traveling in X direction. Suppose, but the outside objects according to me travel in the opposite direction with the same but negative velocity. So here, so here, uh, so here minus sign in this relation, in equation number 2, this minus sign is not due to the exchange of sides. Minus sign is due to the change in the observer. For the equation 1, according to this observer, this frame is moving with plus v velocity. For the equation 2, According to this observer O dash, this frame, this frame is moving with a negative velocity. That is in a 
opposite direction that's why there is minus sign now what should be the relation of y and y dash it will be y is equals to y dash or y dash equals to y because there is no movement of frame along y axis because we are supposing that we have supposed that frame is moving only along x axis similarly z equals to z dash or z dash equals to z and here t is equals to t dash and t dash equals to t now equations 1 3 5 7 are known as Galilean inverse transformation equations for space and time equations 2 4 6 and 8 are known as Galilean transformation equations for space and time now, these are the Galilean transformation equations for space and time space means x y z axis and time is t axis for further reference, please search our website venusscience.com. Please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.